Welcome to Chat and Dish. I'm Casey Quaretti, and today it is Val Bon France for Cuisse de Grenouille. Frog's legs prepared the way that they do at the Valbonnais restaurant, which just happens to be famous all over the south of France for having the best frog legs you will ever taste. Ingredients are really quite simple. We have our frog's legs, milk, olive oil, garlic, butter, parsley, lemon. That's it. Let's hop to it. I can't believe I said that. Frog's legs go into a milk bath, just cold milk. About 30 minutes in the fridge will do it. Well, the frog's legs are swimming around in the cold milk. I just want you to chop up your garlic and your parsley together. I've got about three tablespoons of parsley and one clove of garlic. Don't be tempted to stop chopping too soon. You really want a very fine mince for both your garlic and your parsley. Just set your parsley and your garlic aside in a little bowl. We're not going to use it again until the cuisse de cornouille are actually done cooking. All right, while the frog's legs are still in the fridge, it's the perfect time to juice one lemon. This too will be used at the very end of the recipe, so just set it aside. Okay, frog's legs out of the milk bath. Set them onto paper towels and dry them really, really well. All right, give the frog's legs a nice sprinkling of salt and pepper on both sides. Cut each of your frog's legs in half. All right, once your frog's legs are separated, simply dredge them in plain flour, just a few at a time. Give them a good shake so that you get off the excess flour and then set them aside on a plate. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large saute pan. Okay, once your olive oil is nice and warm, add two tablespoons of butter. Once your butter is melted and bubbly, put your cuisse de grenouille into your pan. Do not crowd them. Do two batches if you have to. All right, the cuisse de grenouille are bubbling away. They're going to take about three to four minutes per side. You just want them nice and lightly browned. Okay, let's see if it's ready to turn these babies over. Perfect. Lovely, nice and crunchy, lightly golden brown. That's exactly how you want them. When they're browned and crispy on both sides, set them aside to a serving platter. Turn your heat down, add another tablespoon of butter and your parsley garlic mixture. Stir this until the garlic is warmed through and slightly, slightly cooked. Turn your heat off and pour in your lemon juice. Give this a good mix and then it's on to our serving platter with our frog's legs. Drizzle your sauce all around your grenouille and you're ready to serve. Oh, come on, be adventuresome. Give cuisse de grenouille a try. I bet you'll love them. Okay, we always finished our dinner at the Valbonnais with Dame Blanche's for dessert. Marvelous chocolate sundaes. So in that spirit, let's do chocolate for dessert here today. First up, citron limetta for chocolate ganache cupcakes that are absolutely fantastic. They taste as good as they look. Don't miss out on chocolate ganache cupcakes over at Citron Limetta. Okay, we're finished with our frog's legs. We've had one marvelous chocolate dessert. Now it's time to hop across the pond <laughs> to the UK and visit Paper Cup Kitchen because now Marie is offering us death by chocolate cake and all I can say is, what a way to go. This cake is absolutely marvelous. You simply must not miss out on Death by Chocolate Cake at Paper Cup Kitchen. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I'm going to miss you. Cheers.